and then he came in. He starts shooting, if you look at that. Leaders of the Islamic Cultural Center of Quebec invited cameras into their mosque just days after a gunman opened fire during evening prayers, killing six men and wounding 18 others. They wanted, they said, to show the world how hate can lead to carnage. 27-year-old Alexandre Bissonnette is charged with six counts of murder. Reports say he had made right-wing, anti-immigrant and anti-woman posts on social media. This is a process of radicalization. At the newly established Centre to Prevent Radicalization in Montreal, that type of behavior can be cause for concern. What happened here, the signs were all there. Anti-immigration, pro-gun, anti-social. The person was in the process of radicalization, but no one noticed. Quebec Muslims know Islamophobia well. A pig's head was left on the steps of the mosque that was attacked during Ramadan last year. Studies show the province is home to prominent anti-Muslim groups that promote hatred online. Researchers say not enough attention is paid to this type of behavior. Once you say a word or two supporting a jihadi group online, you are in trouble with the law. But somehow uh, right-wing groups and individuals and activists get a pass under the cover of freedom of expression and freedom of conscience. Quebec's largest cities are vibrant and multicultural, but there's still a segment of society that values its French language and European heritage. That's a feeling that politicians have tried to exploit in the past with policies that some have considered anti-Muslim. In 2013, the previous government here tried to ban all openly religious symbols for civil servants. Quebec, it was argued, was a thoroughly secular society. The proposal was seen as mostly aimed at Muslims, though other religions were included. It's not the first time the Islamic faith has been angrily debated in Quebec politics. To uh, shine a spotlight, a very insistent spotlight, making certain people targets for individuals who, because of sometimes you know, their own psychological uh, you know, um, uh, problems, may be looking for targets. And when you shine a light on certain people rather than others, those targets are salient. This week, tens of thousands of Quebecers expressed solidarity with the Muslim community. Politicians have promised to tone down rhetoric that could fuel hate. Whether that can last once the sense of profound shock at the mosque attack subsides is impossible to know now. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Quebec.